The land at the moment is still telling its story about what happened on that night. We've got 25 hectares here. When the fires came, the whole property burnt. Our house was saved because we'd built a bunker. And as the fire was approaching, I turned on the sprinkler system, made sure that was working. Then I went to the bunker and sealed it up. I'd stayed in the bunker for an hour and a half. That's fire just outside the window here. The whole sky was red. It was alive with fire. Yeah. Nature, ever since the fire, has been coming back. It's restoring the soils, it's restoring the land, it's restoring the habitat. This spring, walking through the property, there's a range of flowering plants that we had never seen. It's so beautiful and I've been focusing on that to keep my hope, really. This purple flower is called Lobelia, that one. These little bell flowers, Wandana is the local Aboriginal name for it, appleberry. This is what they call running postman, Canedia. It spread over all the burnt ground and as the regrowth came up, it started climbing up. It's a legume, so it's repairing the soil. It's been a solace in a way that life is coming back, but it's also a concern because the next bushfire could be even worse than this last one was because there's so much more to burn. There's been so much regrowth, huge amount of germination, but the great tragedy is all these old growth trees, so many of them were killed. It's actually been very sad. You, you feel like you've failed, you know. You, you have this land that you want to look after and when you get a fire like that, it's unstoppable. Looking up is hard because of the death you see there, but we've got to honour the survivors of the fire. The will to live is very impressive. Yeah.